Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine, though I got a kind of feeling a little like Jim Cantori tucking myself out of the wind. I'm here this week in Charleston, South Carolina for American Sport Fishing Association's annual summit. And the weather didn't cooperate. Of course, we've got that Hurricane Michael barreled through uh, the Florida Panhandle uh, midweek. Now it's coming across as a tropical storm here in this area. Hopefully it doesn't affect our flights out of here. And I know that we will be feeling some of the after effects by the end of the week as well. Thursday into Friday and especially on those offshore conditions but it looks like this uh, nasty storm is going to skirt us a little bit and hopefully I can get back in on some of the action that we've got in the weekend ahead and what we'll get for this weekend ahead with that passing storm more north and northwest winds gusting Friday heavy gusts from the northwest should be according to the forecast straight northwest all day Saturday and also into Sunday. North northwest wind again could push more of that bait along, push it out of the inlets, a little bit of more of a northerly direction perhaps by Sunday, push them on down the beach. Could blow the surface temperatures off too, those warmer uh, top water temperatures, that north offshore wind blows those warmer waters off, the undercurrent comes in and we're left with a little bit of cooler water temperature and hopefully a little hotter striper action. It's definitely what we need to get this fall run going. Now the seas subside Saturday and Sunday, making for a busy weekend I'm sure on those inshore reef sites. The black sea bass season reopened this week in New Jersey. We've gotten some great reports when those boats do get to sail. Good sized sea bass and plenty of them. Boats you see listed every week in the Fisherman Magazine. You subscribers, you know this. The, all these advertisers, the folks that are on uh, the Fisherman.com and the reports, it's so busy right now with black sea bass and if we get a good weekend to sail, those boats are going to fill up and most of them, even the party boats, do reservations. So if you're looking to get out, make sure you go through the magazine, call some of the boats, find out when they have open boats or if you need to reserve your spot, you want to get there early. Again, they're mostly sailing open during the week, but when it comes to busy times like this with black sea bass reopening, you'll definitely want to call first. Now during the week in the northern range in New Jersey, you've got those sea bass in the mix with some porgies. The porgy fishing has been great. Uh, around Sandy Hook, inside Raritan Bay on those rock piles and outside as well. While down South Jersey, they're mixing in with the Black Sea Bass, Cocktail Blues. In fact, Darlene and Matt here from Harvey Cedars had one on the for the pan. Nice little cocktail blue that they caught on the Miss Chris. Now, I did find out there were some bigger bluefish in Central and North Jersey, especially on some of those boats that are doing the night trips. But uh, hopefully we'll get some more of those big bluefish in the next couple of weeks, especially for the Dream Boat Contest and October's fish of the month. And of course, while the inshore waters will flatten out with those heavy offshore winds Friday through Sunday, right? We still have a little bit of a problem at the canyons from the Baltimore to the Hudson offshore. It doesn't settle down until sometime in, on Sunday, it looks like, but into the early next week as Michael passes through. And there are some good reports uh, that we had when people were being able to get out there to get on some fish, some bluefin, and of course the Mahi Action's terrific. Brandon Shackleton in the Southern Regional High School Fishing Club. They were offshore aboard the Super Chick last week out of Barnegat Inlet. 114 Mahi, 86 tilefish, and one monster, a 140 pound tuna that came unbuttoned at the boat. But I'll tell you what, with all that tilefish, what great eating that, that is. Water temperatures, like I said, still warm. Midweek temperature check, I had 70 degrees at Sandy Hook, almost 75 degrees in Cape May. It should be at this point in October, more like mid to upper 60s. So again, some of those offshore winds that we get coming in this weekend, hopefully push those surface temperatures off. And again, we need some of that cool water. We could use some fall conditions, especially to get those stripers moving. And again, perhaps this weekend will be the change that we need. But of course, with these tropical conditions, everything's so sticky and wet, especially down here in South Carolina. But with that tropical system moving through, we still have all the tropical visitors that have visited during the late summer. They're hanging with us in the fall. Mike McArdle, for example, he caught this remora, big remora, at the Triangle Rock Pile at South Amboy while porgy fishing. Big remora like that. You gotta wonder where his ride went, right? Lee Wakefield, he got in on some of the Pompano action down in South Jersey. Found out about that in, in Brigantine, but Lee said they were in the beaches of Ocean City last week too. In fact, he had to share the beaches with some of those summer 
folks that are still out there enjoying the idyllic fall weather. Blow fishing, of course, is still very good in Barnegat Bay and Great Bay as well. Great Bay is where Steve Urbano got on them with the kids. Again, check in with your local shop. A frozen chum log and some clam and a nice quiet place in the back bay. Put your kids on some of those blowfish, maybe get a couple of spots to put in the pen for the striper season coming ahead. And of course, we're still getting some good reports on sheep's head too, all this warm water. Um, uh, swag here, he checked in with the folks at Fisherman's Headquarters. Jetty fishing, jig head and crab, South Jetty, Barnegat Light. Any of those rock piles, a lot of folks that I've talked to said they like the slack tie. So you could try it in Central Jersey on down into Cape May County, right? But you might also want to give this a shot at Manasquan, Shark River. Again, slack tide, crab baits, put them on jigs, bait up. You can also get some tog. There's plenty of tog on the inshore pieces too and along those jetties. Folks are enjoying that one fish limit the best they can. Ryan Morse here, he hit a two pounder the other day using green crabs along the wall at North Wildwood. If you're looking for stripers, you might want to look in the back. Look along those sod banks, especially high water. Top of the tide, slot size stripers. And those smaller top waters are great too because we still have all those peanut bunker in the back. Your small tsunamis, still water smack at juniors. Some really good catch and release action back there along those creeks. And some folks like David Abseekin Bay also have those slot tags. So if you want to take advantage of your one slot fish, 24 to just under 28 inches, you have a deadline too. Some of the charter boats like Dave at Abseekin Bay have some slot tags. Some of the party boats have them. But if you want to get one, you have an October 31st deadline. You only get one slot. That's the one that comes from our commercial quota that's not used. If you want information on that, I've got it on a link right here at thefisherman.com. Had a story a couple of weeks ago. You can also call the folks at the Division of Fish and Wildlife at 609-748-2020. Fall trout stocking also, speaking of the division, is going on in October. If you saw last week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine, you subscribers know about it. We do have stock trout in fall and winter throughout the state, not just northwest trout country up there in Sussex County, but also in Ocean County, Monmouth County, and Cape May County, Virginia, and Murphy's Hookhouse. Tackled a couple of trout on the Toms River. If you want to get some more information about where Virginia fishes, stop into Hookhouse, stop into any of your tackle shops. If you want to try your hand at some of this fall and winter trout fishing, in fact, next weekend is a great weekend to try it. If you don't have a license, you don't have a stamp, October 20th is a free fishing weekend in New Jersey where you can get the chance to fish with no license, no stamp, and no stinking badge required. Good thing. And again, Reporting here from South Carolina as we're getting the remnants of tropical storm at this point coming through, I got to send my prayers and best wishes. Uh, my thoughts are with you. I've got a lot of friends down there along the Forgotten Coast, the Panhandle of Florida, Mexico Beach, beautiful area, Apalachicola. This is a devastating storm. Came up so fast. You know, we spend all of our time watching the weather system and watching those systems come across on the Atlantic, and this one pops up in the Gulf, makes everything crazy. But again. The remnants of that storm that we're going to get this week pushing through some offshore winds and hopefully that prompts a little bit better surf bite and more movement out of those stripers. We'll find out. Catch them up this weekend. Let me know how you did and we'll report back to you again next week right here at thefisherman.com.